Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyMarketing.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a custom domain within your Active Campaign account. So, when you set up your Active Campaign account, it's going to give you a domain, and it'll be your username.activehosted.com. And this may be a long and hard to remember URL. Additionally, if you turn on link tracking in your emails, this is the URL that will be displayed, which may be kind of ugly and turn people off from clicking on your links. So it can be a good idea to go ahead and set up a custom domain name. So let's go ahead and get into it. So to do it, all we need to do is come down here to settings and then we have domains right here on the left hand side. We'll click on that option and we can go ahead and plug in our domain alias right here. So for example, let's say that I'm gonna make a subdomain of email. So it would be email.crazyeye.marketing because my root domain is crazyeye.marketing. And this email could be whatever I want. It could be just the letter E if I wanted to put it at that, or it could be, you know, mail if I wanted to put it at mail or something like that. So you can name it whatever you want. That is perfectly fine, but I'm just gonna go ahead and set it as email. And then we have some instructions down here. And basically what it's telling us to do is create a C name record. So we need to update our DNS settings and we need to go ahead and add this value for the C name setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this right here and come over to where my DNS settings are. Now I'm in site ground, but the concept remains the same. You wanna to get to where you have DNS zone or DNS settings or something like that. And you can see that I have the option to add a C name. So I'm gonna click that option. And here I need to go ahead and plug in whatever I added as my subdomain. So I used email, but if you use, you know, just letter E, you could you would put E there or mail, you put mail there and so on. So plug in whatever you told Active Campaign you were going to use. So email.crazyi.marketing. So it's just email. And then results too, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and plug in that value that Active Campaign provided to me. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave that period on the end there. That is correct. And I'll go ahead and click on create. And then I'll come back to active campaign and I'll click on save settings. And there is a note that it may take several hours or longer for your DNS settings to go live. And usually it takes a few minutes, but I have had it take upwards of a day in order for everything to go through. But let me try and go to email.crazyadmarketing.com and let's see what happens. So nothing's showing up quite yet, but I'll try again in a few minutes and we'll see if it's working. Alrighty, so it took about 30 minutes, but it is working now. You can see in my address bar, we have email.crazyi.marketing and I could go ahead and log in using my regular login information. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. And and I'll click log in and there we go. Everything seems to be working. So now I can access my active campaign account by going through this URL instead of going through my crazy looking dot active hosted URL. So that may make it easier to remember and how to log in. That said, your username will still be the same thing. So it would still be crazy eye marketing 22162. So you still need to remember your account name, but in order to access your account, you could just go to your pretty URL. And also in all my emails, if I turn on link tracking, it will make the links look like like this instead of the active hosted link. So it's a lot prettier and cleaner looking and provides a better customer experience. And so that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyamarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.